Hey guys, so today's video is going to be about my interview tips and experience. Um, I have given a couple of interviews and I've learned a lot from them. So I thought this will be helpful to anyone out there who's looking for some tips and uh, some motivation and my experience. Uh, it's mostly related to engineering because that's what I am doing. So yeah, let's get started with the tips. Okay, so the first step is clearing aptitude. Um, you can use RS Agarwal for this. They, it has a good collection of quantitude questions. And um, also you can go on Geeks for Geeks, the company that you're appearing to. Just go on Geeks for Geeks and see what kind of questions they ask in their aptitude test and prepare accordingly. Um, you'll get to know what subjects they ask and what kind of questions they ask and prepare accordingly because that will help you a lot because um, clearing aptitude is the first step in getting your job. So you need to clear the aptitude. Um, my next tip is that if you don't clear the aptitude, don't stress yourself about it a lot. Just move on and prepare for the next one because some aptitudes are really, really tough and there are going to be a few which you won't be able to clear and just know that it's okay. Just move on. Don't stress about it too much. Prepare for the next one and get the next, clear the next aptitude. Okay, so my next tip is preparing for, a, for the interview. Once you clear the aptitude, you'll have a technical interview and for that, just go through all the subjects in your entire course, revise all the subjects and then also go on Geeks for Geeks and see what kind of questions they ask for that company or even if you have any contacts, your friend is working in the company or your friend's friend or anything, ask them because it really helps. Uh, also go through your projects that you have done throughout the course and uh, what features were included in your project, what challenges did you face in them, how you overcame them, all these things could be asked and also do a little bit of code from your project because um, I was asked that in my technical interview. So make sure that you know what is going on in your project, all the features and a little bit of a code because if they ask, you should just start writing. Again, for this step, go on Geeks for Geeks and see what kind of questions they ask in the technical interview of this company and prepare accordingly. If there is some subject that you haven't had in your course, at least start doing the basics of it so that it gives you a plus point. Even if you didn't have it in your course, you have study, you have started studying. So make sure to do that. Okay, my next tip in a technical interview is to let them know that you're thinking. If they ask any question, start talking about what you're thinking. If Even if you're solving something, just talk so that they know what you're doing. And if they ask you a question and you don't know it, at least think. Just start thinking and maybe talk while you're thinking that this is your, you know, thought process and you think this is, this can be the answer. Because I think it's good to give it a try of course give a relevant answer if it is a question which you have never even heard of then don't try to answer it but if it's something that you think is related to something that you have studied then do try to think okay my next tip is to look excited when you're going for your technical interview or your hr interview look excited body confidence plays a huge role in interviews and um, i know it's easy for me to say some of us are shy but Try to work on your confidence and look alert, look excited. You want this job, right? So let them see it in your eyes. Let them know that you're serious about this and you're excited. Whenever they ask you a question, just listen to it. Be alert and body confidence does play a huge role. If you are a bit shy, it's okay. I believe in you. You can do it. Just start opening up a little bit and, you know, look excited. Open up your body. Be confident. Be excited and let them see that oh, my next and biggest tip is to be positive surround yourself around positive people and if you're just waiting for the results then don't talk anything negative just be positive know that this is your job you are gonna get it and that's my biggest tip just by speaking positive things you just feel good and it will work in your favor uh, the next tip is about HR round now in this round mm, they can ask you questions that you have never ever imagined of and that happened to me. He was asking me questions that I never thought can happen in a work culture but mm, my sir was amazing. He was the perfect person for interviewing 
these can be really tricky and they can ask you questions that you have never even thought about but it's okay listen carefully and think for a minute and then answer be true to yourself don't don't give an answer which which you think would be appropriate let them see your true personality what you think it's okay there's no right or wrong in hr round they just want to see your personality and be true to yourself be true to your answers again research about the company because they can ask you why do you want to join us or hammer sneeze okay so they can ask you what do you like about our company or you know something related to their company so research on them again in this hr round look excited look confident this is your last you're so close to get that job so make sure that they will select you just be so confident and excited that you'll you'll engage in better conversations and your interview will be really good my next tip is prepare for a tell me about yourself question this is the most common question but make sure that you prepare for it and in that don't just say something about your personality and just you know all non technical stuff let them know what your technical interests are make a good you know answer maybe you can start up start with your personalities your strengths and everything then you can you can tell them what subjects you have been liking throughout your course what languages you like if you have any achievements that you are you have won any competition then you can throw that in too just be prepared with a good answer for this question because this is a very 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 common question uh, my next tip is selection failure if you have gone till the last round and you haven't been selected you know you didn't get the job it's okay don't get discouraged and don't ever think that there is something wrong in you or you're not worth it because maybe the company is following some criteria and that's why they didn't select you it's okay just don't don't ever think that you're not worth it just think that maybe this company was not for you you'll get something that is the best for you yeah, maybe you'll get a better job which will be life changing for you so don't get discouraged at all yeah you're worth it and just move on and prepare for the next one and my last tip is to believe in yourself just know that you're worth it all these years of hard work you have learned so many things and it's okay not everyone likes all subjects but have some favorites read good self help books like i always say the secret always helps believe in yourself you're worth it and yeah that's all i have to say if you have an interview coming soon then all the best to you i believe in you you can do it yeah i hope this video helps you and uh, thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more and i'll see you in my next one bye